All right. Welcome to another Lightning Strikes Twice, where we have one topic apiece, five minutes to discuss, and take it away. All right. Well, um, I don't even know how to classify this particular topic. I guess it's philosophy. You know, that, that sounds about right. So wh- what, do you, what do you think about uh, like this trend of people taking offense at the race of voice actors? Oh, geez. Um, you know, like the Simpsons and stuff and yeah, Family Guy. It, it's funny, like uh, this week that we're recording, the minute my microscopy that I'm putting out happens to be in a similar vein mm-hmm. about like crowbarring in minority representation. Oh, yeah. And and uh, this this is funny. Like, mm-hmm. like why why would a voice actor need to be the particular race that they're portraying mm-hmm. because you don't see them. You just hear a voice. So exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, and well, and the, the, here's the thing. It's like, there's a lot of characters in animated shows that are not human. So what do they have to hire a fish to do a, a, the voice of a fish or like an alien to do the voice of an alien, <laughs> you know, or like, you know, ducktails. Should they have hired a bunch of ducks to do the voices? That's stupid. You know, <laughs> only an idiot would think that. So like what, and what gives? It's like, hey, if you're good at doing a voice, who cares? Like, yeah. oh, you know, I don't hear a lot of complaints about James Earl Jones doing the voice of Darth Vader, but clearly Darth Vader right. is a white guy and James Earl Jones definitely is not. Yeah. <laughs> it's like everybody, it's like that voice is so perfect for the character. Like, that's the thing. If it works, who cares? There was a prominent black actor that recently said or maybe not so recently like act like white actors should totally wear blackface like if if you want to play a role you are an actor that's yeah immersing yourself in that role and whatever it takes to make that as believable as possible is fair game like yeah yeah, as (laughs) as long as it's respectful in a in a way obviously there's room for parody and, and comedy. Yeah. And, and, you know, in that it's like, okay, well you can poke fun at people. We should do that. That's part of the human experience. But like in general, it's like uh, uh, the uh, Apu from uh, the Simpsons, you know, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. he was never a, like, a like he, his character was not like stupid or made to look the fool or something like that. He was, it, it, it was actually a really cool character. Yeah. And he wasn't played by an Indian guy, you know? It, it's like, what? I don't know. Well, I don't understand. Like, was he supposed to have a British accent or something? I, no. <laughs> I know. It's dumb. It's like, dude, it's, it's fantasy. You, you yeah. can do whatever you want to do. That's the whole point. That's, we, we need to escape, not, not be reminded of the stupidity of everyday life. Right. And, and the other thing is like this, this whole representation aspect of Mm -hmm. like culture, even Um, it like, yeah, I I get it that people take movies a little bit too seriously and and think that they can actually like learn things about certain things. But for the most part, I think most people understand that how things are represented in film is often an exaggeration. Or uh, usually, okay. usually to fit the story. Or, yeah, yeah, not accurate at all. It, yeah, it doesn't have to be historically accurate in every single detail. No. And, and culture and, and race and all that stuff is, is totally part of that. Like, mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, I mean, the only time that would matter is if it was like a documentary. Mm-hmm. Like it was intended to be an educational thing. Yes, right. accuracy, historical accuracy is very important. But if it's yeah. a fantasy tale... You can kind of do whatever you want to do. Yeah. You know, but, the, but, but that said, like going overboard with it to the point where like, you can't suspend disbelief anymore, like mm-hmm. completely regendering a famous character or, you know, changing race, race or whatever, like, like that does become a problem with the story. Like, you know, like the timeline of it, you know, if it's mm-hmm. a, if it's a one-off thing, like people tend to not care. Yeah. Not. Yeah. Well, if, if it's like, if it's something that isn't 
connected with history, right? Like it's some kind of space story. You can kind of do whatever you want to do. Um, But if it's like, oh, you're doing a movie about Vikings or something, right? But like half the Vikings are black or something or like Chinese (laughs) or whatever. Like that's okay. That didn't happen. So that's really hard to accept. It's like, okay, yeah, maybe the story is fantastical. But like when you're when you're portraying Vikings, they need to look like Vikings did. Otherwise, it yeah, that's so stupid. Pigeonholing or shoehorning the like all these different things. It's just ah, it's I don't know. I I take issue with that for sure. That I don't. Oh well, that's time. Oh man, (laughs) that's a good one. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm sure that I'm sure a lot of people have thoughts about that. Um, it, it boy that I could we could go on. That almost should not have been. (laughs) <laughs> one of the topics for this it must should have been like an episode topic but still hmm. that's that's kind of funny that the topic i'm choosing as as almost always kind of blends perfectly with that <laughs> um. <laughs> i don't know how we do that you know it, it, it's like what what is it uh women who hang out all the time their menstrual cycles kind of start to align <laughs> Like we've been doing this for like six years now, and our, our microscopy cycles are all. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's so weird. <laughs> yeah. All well, right. I guess mine's a little bit more in the tomfoolery direction, though. Okay. Um, I just thought it would be fun to riff on, like, what are, what are your favorite like overused movie tropes to to make fun of? You know? <laughs> oh my. God. God, oh geez, and I, I think we can skip the whole like crowbarring and racial, yeah, yeah, because we just talked about that. Oh, there's so many. I don't know why, why don't you start and then uh, maybe something will come to mind. Is, is well, yeah. one that always gets me is like in an emotional argument, somebody leaves and like shuts the door behind them, and then the person's like, goodbye, like, <laughs> like they're not gonna hear you. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, okay. say that before the door shut. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess one that that I think I did a minute microscopy about, like in season one, was like movie flashbacks. Yeah, that was where, such where it's a good one too. <laughs> thir- third person perspective, or or like you know when somebody was like remembering something and they do the black and white thing, and and it's mm-hmm. like, but it's like it's shot from a third person perspective. It's like no, if you're remembering, you'd be remembering from your perspective. Right. That's that's an annoying one. Yeah. Oh man. And then there's like people always hang up the phone without saying goodbye. They're like mid conversation. They get what get, get what they need and they just hang it up. It's like, why why are goodbyes so freaking rude in movies? Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. I'll I say goodbye, but I'm gonna wait until the door shuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I mean, there's so many things in in, in movies. I, I mean, there's a lot of things that are very common that are mm-hmm. that are inaccurate like absolutely not realistic that like scientific issues yeah. medical things things involving technology uh, oh, yeah. computers like hacking and stuff that's one that Wait. every hardly yeah. any movie ever gets right firearms <laughs> are another one too that i you know they they ne- and they're, it's like somebody's pursuing somebody with a gun and then they finally corner them and then they're like and rack the slide it's like wait a minute did you didn't you you, you should have already chambered around what, what is going on well and then like everybody that gets shot in the chest cavity is like carrying on a conversation or continuing a fight oh like, yeah oh yeah totally well like, actually ah. speaking of that too it's the like getting hit somebody shoots somebody with like a, a pistol and they go flying through a window or something it's like no that's not or everything that gets shot like a gas tank gets shot and it always explodes <laughs> right and and how grenades have like fireballs coming out of them like okay that is not how grenades work they're a high explosive it just goes bang and shrapnel goes everywhere there's no fireball you know <laughs> like oh man yeah that's that's a great trope like oh the similar cars always explode yep <laughs> cars going off a cliff and they, mm-hmm. they, they hit the ground and like, <laughs> it, it, that, that I'm sure it has happened one or two times, but most right. of the time you're just going to crash and you crumple up and, and that's it. Like, yeah. Like, like you're 
gas tank was empty enough that it's mostly fumes and then it just so happens that you you <laughs> land on a pile of like flint rubble or something and it sparks <laughs> just the right way like i mean it's so <laughs> stupid oh my god <laughs> oh man there, but there's so many i mean you know when it comes to like technology obviously uh, like the so many completely implausible or impossible things um, Mm -hmm. in movies. And, you know, again, like going back to what our previous one, you can suspend disbelief a little bit if it isn't too crazy. Um, Like I love the movie hackers and there, it is not, well, they do get a few things right, but they get most of it wrong, but it's still a fun movie. (laughs) Um, And, you know, and there's also the slow-mo, like, Everything like intense happens in slow motion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Well, actually, there could be some something to that because, like, if you, I, I, I've heard this when when people get into like, you know, oh, I'm about to die kind of situations. Time seems to go really slow. Mm. Like every moment seems like hours. <laughs> And, yeah, and so, yeah, I guess that's true. Like any any real intense situation, your your it's really like more like your brain lighting up and being able to uh, make decisions faster or something. Yeah, yeah. And it, it Put, seems like things are slow, but you're you're really just faster. Um, exactly. Well, <laughs> I mean, isn't that the same thing <laughs> in a way? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess so. It's all yeah. relative, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh man, there's so ah uh, God, I, I geez, I wish I had had a chance to kind of collect a few thoughts on that because that's there's there's a ton of mm-hmm. things. Oh, and, well, I know oh, you had a laundry list of gun movies. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, horror movies are full of them too. Like the the things, the decisions people make, like going down into the dark basement when you know there's something sketchy going on. Oh, oh man. And we, of should, course, we should slow down the last five seconds of the timer and be like, <laughs> I, I th- This one, I'd really, li- I'm sure we, we should comment down there. You know, leave mm-hmm. your favorite mm-hmm. overused movie trope thing down in the comments because there are so, so many. Oh, actually, there's one that I want to bring up too now that popped into my head. It's not really a movie, not like specifically in a movie, but it's the trailers of movies where they always do the do sound. Yeah. <laughs> like oh, every single trailer has that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. God, that uh, <laughs> uh, those were good. Damn, that was <laughs> really good. Yeah, uh, well, um hopefully everybody enjoyed this one and uh you know, we do this every week so Next week, there's going to be another one, and you can check out our Minute Microscopies that we do every week, and our episodes that we do every week, and then odd random videos that we occasionally do as well. So, yep. there's all kinds of stuff. There's all right. something for everyone. Uh, 